Paul. What he? Let me hear you scream. I want to hear you do it louder. What he? Wesley Massey. Palm tree. Dominico. Welcome to Woodford Hill. I love the vibes here in Woodford Hill. Woody is alive. Woody is vibrant. Woody is welcoming Dominica. I hope you're having a good time. Thank you for coming to our beautiful village, Woodford Hill. I want to say a special welcome and a special thank you to the Honorable Gloria Schillingford. A strong, vibrant, powerful woman. A resilient woman. A woman with the biggest backbone I've ever seen and heard of. She is strong. And I, I gain from your strength. And I understand what you have been going through through this political campaign. Know that I'm in it. It is not an easy road. And I'm telling you, you have to be strong to be here. But I'm not going to cry. Because I'm made of solid stuff. I want to say welcome. And thank you to all the other candidates here tonight. Everyone who presented. The Honorable Justina Charles. To my colleague and family. Mr. Martin Christmas, my sincerest condolences to you on the passing of your mom. She was a very good teacher to me. I remember her fondly. I remember when I was going to school and she taught at Wesley. Sometimes when you didn't feel like going, she would come by my mother's home to pick me up. And I want to tell you tonight, that I, I cannot understand your loss, but I can sympathize with you because you had a great mother in Tisha Audrey. To Mr. Lennox Lawrence for your valuable contribution, explaining to everyone present and who is listening that Dominicans in the diaspora, there is nothing wrong with you coming home to vote. You're a Dominican. And it's your right, since your name is on the, on the voters list, you can come anytime, come and participate. To Ian Douglas, another powerful presenter. Thank you, my brother, for presenting so well. Teacher Gloria, she's always powerful. Every other candidate that is present here tonight. I know the prime minister is on his way. And he's listening. I want to say, we are waiting for you here in Woodford Hill. And we will welcome you with open arms. To all those listening in the diaspora and viewing via YouTube, I want to say a special shout out to you. To my mother, Jean Robin, who has been watching all the time. I want to say, Din. I love you to my daughters Juliet and Trisha, my son, my brothers and sisters listening, and all my nieces and nephews, my family. I want to say thank you for your support and keep on watching the Labour Victory Train. I will say here tonight that this is one of the largest national event that is happening in Woodford Hill. And I want to thank the Dominica Labour Party for coming here and showing your love to all the residents of Woodford Hill and the surrounding areas. I am also extending an invitation to everyone here tonight and especially to the Woodford Hill folks in the diaspora 
that there will be a Woodford Hill reunion in 2015. That you should all come out and support. Come down to Woodford Hill. Make your contribution to your community. That it will be lasting. So Woodford Hill folks out there, come on on board and join the Woodford Hill reunion team in the planning of the Woodford Hill reunion for 2015. I am here tonight to share information with you which will help you to make the best choice and to help you arrive at the best decision which will impact your life and your family and everyone in Dominica. Everyone present here tonight, this evening, I know you have a level of responsibility to run the affairs of your home. And most persons in this community of Woodford Hill, Wesley and Palm Tree, you are farmers. And as farmers, I know that when you cultivate, you cultivate with the hope knowing that you will receive some harvest and you have a very good idea what the income of that harvest will bring to you and your family. In doing so, you make preparation for what you think you will get from your produce. In other words, there is another reference. When you, as a farmer, apply for a loan through a financial institution, a bank, or a credit union, you have to present the information that the credit union or the bank is looking for to ensure that they can lend you their money and you have the ability to pay back. When you have an opposition presenting itself to you and presenting some pie-in-the-sky ideas that they think that you, the little man, do not have a clue how it is to budget your household would fall for the lies and the scam that they are trying to present to you, telling you that they are going to give you things that are not realistic. I want you to draw a reference from how you run your house and the things that you have to do, the decisions that you have to make. I'm talking here to the ordinary man. I'm trying to draw a reference to you that you could understand. Because each and every one of you have responsibilities and you manage your house. You send your kids to school. You know what it takes to put food on the table. You know how to budget your stuff. So when someone come to you and tell you that they will do something for you, you can understand and you will be able to detect what is truth and what is fiction. You have a bunch of men. Most of them are unemployed. And as I told you just a few seconds ago, that when you go to the bank, you need to show how you will be able to pay back your loan. You have a bunch of unemployed men who have no job experience for the last 5, 15, some of them probably even 20 years. They do not have any idea what it takes to run a country. Some of them, their wife run the household. They have to go with what the wife says. They do not have a clue what it takes to run their home, much less to run a country. One of the things that I grew up listening to is that you never allow a hungry person to share food. I want you to remember that you can never allow an unemployed bunch of men to run the affairs of the state. You cannot allow men who do not have an income, who cannot make a budget on a bi-weekly or bi-monthly, to take care of the home, to come and run the affairs of the state. You cannot take that risk. 
There is also another saying that you cannot go out shopping on a hungry stomach. Because if you do that, you end up buying junk. And when you purchase junk, you will not have something sustainable or sustenance that will make you strong and healthy. So, you cannot, and I will repeat, you cannot put, I think Miss Charles said that one time, you cannot put hungry men to share your food. You cannot put unemployed men to run Dominica at all. In my line of work, when you, you interview an individual for work, one of the things you look for or you look at is the gap between the time that they have been employed and the time they, they have been unemployed. And you always ask the question, why? Why this gap? There is, I think Lennox, there is a gap of about 15 years. When you look at his gap, ask him what did he do between those 15 years to now that he's vying to be your leader when a person cannot show continuous employment they cannot show continuous involvement in things that matter to the nation or to their community they cannot lead in this time and age leadership is everything Leadership in this critical stage in Dominica's development is everything. In every nation development, there is a time when the people have to stand up. You have to recognize what is happening to you. You have to look at your surroundings and you have to see this is one of the most critical elections in Dominica's history. For the past 10 years, the Dominica Labour Party, led by the Right Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, transformed Dominica from a place where we have always been in the back waters and now we are at the forefront. We cannot go back. We cannot go back. I want the youth to listen and understand. You will hear your parents and your grandparents talk about the times when they grew up and the things that they went through and how it is now that there is a change and there is such improvement in the quality of life that you cannot, as the first time voter, cast your vote for a government of the past who sunk Dominica into such economic decline and bankruptcy to give them a chance this time to bring us back you hear the thing forward we go forward we go i want you to chant with me forward we go forward we go Wooty, wesley dominica forward we go we are not going back. We cannot go back. The lives of our children depend on it. The schooling of our children, the education of our children depend on it. The care for the elderly depend on it. The youth, the development that we want to create in sports and entertainment depend on it. Dominica, this is our time. This is our time to shine. The young men, I want you to support the women. Stand up behind your women. Stand up behind your sisters. Or even stand side by side with them. Support us. You count. You are the ones that are going to give us the strength to move forward. We want you on board with us. We want you to come on board and support the Dominica Labour Party because they have a vision for you. They have a plan to push you forward. 
They have a plan to make Dominica as the Prime Minister has been trying his best to move us forward, to take us even further. Last night, I mean, I live in Canada for a while, and last night I saw Donnie McCoughlin perform. I never go to those things in Canada. I always say, you know, I will go. But in Dominica, I saw the blessing of the Lord poured upon Dominicans last night. And as a person who believes strongly in the Lord, I am a practicing believer. I believe in the Lord. And I believe every chain will be broken. Every force of the enemy will be shattered. I rebuke every evil from every corner of this country. I rebuke the plan of the enemy to destroy us. I claim power. I claim victory in the name of Jesus. Let us break every yoke. I want to tell you here tonight that with all of this, I have a plan for the Wesley Woodford Hill and Palm Tree communities. The plan for Wesley and Woodford Hill. Teacher Glaw started a lot of the work and I will continue. She started the work from Larry coming in. The road there. And I will continue to make sure that Larry, all the way to Big Cedar, all the way to Bells, all the way to all the way will have smooth running roads so we can walk through Woodford Hill. In small farm, the lower part of small farm, your roads will be done. Gloria, the Honorable Gloria Schillingford mentioned that the sporting field, there are funds available to update that and it will be done. Right here where we are standing, the basketball court, we have a plan. We have a plan to develop this basketball court so the youth in Woodford Hill will be able to recreate, have some fun, bring in, light up the field so we can have other activities. The plan also is to do the same in Wesley for the basketball court in Wesley. The light have been already sourced and we will get it there soon. We will have bleachers for the incoming teams and for the, the home teams that they will be able to sit in comfortable spaces and have fun and recreate in those two communities, Wesley and Woodford Hill. And Palm Tree, the residents of Palm Tree asked that they wanted a bus stop and they wanted lighting in Palm Tree. So then when you drive through from Wesley to Woodford Hill, you will recognize the hamlet of Palm Tree and know that we have quite a few people living in there. Over 45 families living in Palm Tree, of 45 voters living there. We have to take care of our own. In Wesley, we have a lot of work to do in our community. The work was started by the Honorable Gloria Schillingford at Central Square, going back to Paradise View, I think it's called. We will complete the road there because there are so many buildings in there, beautiful buildings. We will do that. At the back or at the entrance of the road leading from the village council, going at the back there in Wesley, we will also complete that and ensure that right through the village of Wesley, it is motorable. We will complete the road from the Northeast Comprehensive School connecting to Batis Road to 10 shilling so that if you're coming from London Derry and we're doing something there there is a bypass we will go through there we all know that the government have signed a memorandum of understanding for the international airport which is going to be right in our community of Wesley and Woodford Hill. I want everyone in Wooty and in Wesley to prepare for that. I want you to start building your little homes, your little bed and breakfasts, your restaurants, 
Because I know we can cook very well in these parts. I want you to continue producing those food, those agricultural produce, and that you can package them well so we can sell them and we can engage with the persons coming into our communities. I will continue to work with central government to make access for our market, our agricultural produce. As Reggie outlined before, I have had several conversations with farmers groups and young men, both in Woodford Hill and in Wesley, who are in the process, we are in the planning stages of getting them ready for when the abattoir is active, that we will be able to bring our livestock there from Wesley and from Woodford Hill. I will also work closely with the two village councils and probably suggest that in the area of palm tree, they come up with some sort of um, body where we can work to enhance the community or the hamlet of palm tree. I will work with the community and sporting groups. I know in Woodford Hill, here we have a young man who is trying to revive tennis in our community. And with the tourism group who have started already working on Pan Lake, I will work together with you to ensure that Pan Lake is not only developed as a place where you go and watch, you know, the water, but somewhere where tourists can come. And as in a village of Woodford Hill, that is such a cultural place in Dominica, or in the Northeast, I would say the cultural capital, we will use our product in culture and harvest it where when tourists come in, we can teach them how to do the hill and toe. We can teach them how to dance the quadrille for a fee. And we will also dress them in our national way, the wop do yet, and have them take pictures. These are the things that people do when they go to places like Mexico. You see people in their sambero. We do not have sambero, but we have the wob, and we will use it to our advantage. I will work together with the schools in our area, the primary school in Woodford Hill and the primary school in Wesley, as I have already done in the past, to ensure that we are up to date and that we are not left behind and that every technology that is available to every school in Dominica will be available to Wesley and Woodford Hill. I will work together with the youth and students studying at the State College and those who will be graduating from Northeast Comprehensive or from the Portsmouth Seventh-day Adventist or any secondary school that students from the Wesley and Woodford Hill area will be attending. That I will work with you. That when you leave, I will know your area of study. I will create a database so I can keep track and let you know what scholarship is available from the government. And it will be given on a first come, first serve basis. We will establish here in Woodford Hill a culture center of excellence where we will work together with everyone in the group in the village to ensure that persons know what Woodford Hill is made of. I mean you're walking into Woodford Hill tonight or you drove in here tonight and you see how fantastic Woodford Hill looks. It is a sight to behold. I want to also take this opportunity to thank the many supporters on my team and of Woodford Hill, who came out in large numbers to decorate Woodford Hill, to make Woodford Hill tidy and clean, so that everybody coming in could see how Wooty rocks. How do we rock in Wooty? There we let Dominica know. I will work with the youth in Wesley to create a music academy that both or oh, between Wesley Woodford Hill and Palm Tree anyone who wants to learn how to play a guitar keyboard or even do you know the accordion I will work 
together with you because I came from a family of music and music is life music is love and when you have people together in music you find there is unity so I'm going to use that to bring us together and out of that we can get some of our folks from Wesley Wood for Hill and Palm Tree to participate in the World Music Festival the World Creole Music Festival we will have our own contingent from this area going to entertain Dominicans and letting the world see what we have to offer. I will ensure that playgrounds are built throughout this constituency. That parents will go with their children and they can have some fun. After work, you can take your daughter or your son. Oh, it's always good to see the fathers taking their son or their daughter to the park, pushing them on the swing, having a little ride, having a little fun, creating that family atmosphere. Those are things that we need to do to bring us together and keep the family close. I will work with us so we can have that in our community. I want to tell you that I am proud to be a candidate for the Dominica Labour Party. I am proud to be affiliated and associated with a group of winners. I am proud to be with a group of dedicated persons who have placed their lives on hold or their family lives on hold to come here to give service to you. And every single person on this team, they are committed to the cause. They are yours, they are your servant, we are here to do what is best for you, to make sure that your quality of life is improved and that you, the residents of Wesley Woodford Hill and Palm Tree, have a better life for the next five years. I ask you that on December 8th, 2014, that when you go, as the PM says, and as Teacher Glaw said, you don't have to bathe. There's nothing wrong with a few minutes you know, to go and do the little thing. Put the X by the shoe. We all have shoe on our feet, you will remember. None of us here tonight have a saw in our hand. We are going to cut down anything. We need the shoe for protection of our feet. And we will use it to move Dominica forward. I ask you for your vote. I ask everyone here tonight those who are undecided, I ask you to listen to us. Listen to what we have to present to you. Listen to the plans of the Dominica Labour Party. Listen to the people who have your best interests at heart. Not persons vying for a job, but people who already have a job, who have already done things in their lives to make a contribution for your community and have presented themselves as your humble servant. I ask you to vote for every single candidate in every constituency that are on the Labour Party ticket. I ask you to vote for me. Vote for me, Athena Benjamin. Your candidate here in the Wesley constituency. I ask for your vote. I ask for your support. I ask you to come out in large numbers and let us show them that we are winners. We are not going back. Labor for Wooty. Labor for Wesley. Let me hear you scream. Forward. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Sister Afinia. And we are certain that on December 8th, Afinia Benjamin will be victorious. Labor!